the show of Kirby Seminole 7 and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So in the last part, we got Epona and we made it to the Sacred Forest Meadows where Sari is not here and we learned a new song from Sheik, the Minuet of Forest. So in this part, we're going to start the Forest Temple. Alright, so here we are, the Forest Temple. And right away we got these enemies called Wolfles. We've seen them before and of course their, their weak points are the backs. Alright, so we want to start right now is go all the way up here. You can use a hook shot to hook shot to the vines. Because if you go up here, there's actually a ghost go to love that you can get. And also a treasure chest. Now, while you're in adult link, uh, the dungeon layout, well, not the dungeon layout, but the mechanic of the dungeon is a little bit different. You'll be collecting keys to unlock doors. So instead of just going through the dungeon and, well, defeating enemies and unlocking them, you have to find keys. So that's a little bit different. No, 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 no. Crap. Yeah, that was a bad start right there. Okay, no biggie. Let's just hook shot to the barn. There we go. So yeah, um, when you're going through the dungeon as an adult, yeah, you'll be going through areas where you have to find a key to unlock the doors, which I'll um, go in a little bit further detail later once we find an unlocked door. And don't fall off again, please. Oh, no, no. no! What the hell? Uh, I am sucking right now. I am sucking. I am sucking. I just took a 30 minute break just to charge my camera and all of a sudden I'm failing. Uh, come on, Link. Well, what you can do is hook shot to the trash chest, but I'm not close enough, so I'm just gonna walk. Walky walk. Come on, Link, just walk. So I am not jumping. I don't trust my jumps in this game because, yeah, analog stick is not really all that great. For the GameCube, or well, play with the GameCube. So yeah, we collect a small key. So yeah, you need to collect key to unlock doors. All right, so let's go inside, shall we? Jeez, my battery is like running low. Seriously. Well, anyways, yeah, we got to go to less, and these guys are no match for the hook shot. So that's actually quite good. All right, and let's go inside, and we'll see what we have. All right, we got a few colorful can or flames, and. They're going away. Any similarities, guys? Twilight, Twilight Princess and Arbiter's Ground? Yeah. That's where those poses got... Well, the ideas um, of the pose got from Arbiter's Ground. You know how the four poses are in Arbiter's Ground. So, yeah. So, now we can't go through the middle because, well, the middle is important. Alright. Uh, let's go through the front door first, shall we? We'll go for the, through the front because there's actually a couple keys I want to get. And also, there's this ghost Gotola on your right, if you guys didn't notice this. I never knew this. I mean, you can never hear the ghost Gotola um, right over here, which is kind of hard to hear. Alright, so we got that done. Let's go through this door and see what it is. Alright, I gotta make sure my camera's running good. And these guys are bubbles. These guys are annoying as hell. They are annoying. Alright, not too bad, actually. Alright, so let's go through this door. And right away, we got... A mini boss. These guys are stealthy. These guys are quite powerful, actually. All right. Yeah, they can pretty much get a good beating on you if they get a, a jump strike at you. If they get a jump strike at you, yeah, that takes out a lot of hearts. All right. So there's two of them here. So yeah, try to block your um, block yourself because you don't want to get hurt from these guys. They because they can hurt, especially when they jump attack you. All right. Come on. Come on, big guy. Come on. Yeah, not too bad actually. They're not really all that hard, but if you're doing a Master Quest version, yeah, they could take a big beating out of you, like for real. Alright. Okay, let's see what's in this chest, and I bet it's a small key. Yep, pretty much. Alright, so there's nothing really in this room that we can get. There's actually a fairy if you want to, but I don't need a fairy, so I'm pretty much all good. Alright, that bubble's back again. Okay, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I just want to go through this door. Alright, um, I don't think there's anything else I can do in this room. Well, actually, there's one thing I could do. Oh, yeah, there is one thing. We could actually get rid of this time block by playing the Song of Time. Um. Okay, good. I remember the song. I'm like, wait a minute. I played Majora's Mask earlier, so. Or not earlier, but, you know, yesterday I actually played Majora's Mask. And, <laughs> yeah. He plays the Song of Time a lot in that game, so. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go through this door and see, well, what we can find. And we got a giant deck of bottles once again. Get out of here, come on. These guys are annoying. 
Thank you, jeez. <laughs> I have a hard time hit killing those guys. And we got Octra. We don't need to deal with that guy. What we want to do is go up here. And there are some wall skulltulas. Or skulltulas, what they're called. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, that was too close. Kill the skulltula. There we go. Now, there's a third one up there, but unfortunately, we can't kill that one. All we have to do is sneak past it. And, yeah, you don't want to... Shoot, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. If you... If the Skotola sees you, he's going to attack you. So, you may want to hurry up. Oh, no, 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 no! No! Crap, I was almost there. Uh, yeah. When they turn purple, that means they're going to attack. So, you may want to be extra careful. Alright. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, please, please, please don't see me. Don't see me. No, no, no. Okay, good. That was too close. That was way too close. All right, we got another bubble here. And stop bouncing into me. That's really, really annoying. Die, jeez. Took took a while to kill those guys, jeez. All right, and we got another another treasure chest, and I believe this is contains the dungeon map. Other way, Link. There we go. All right. All right, let's see what we can find. What can we find? It's the map, obviously. All right, so we got the dungeon map. Blah blah blah. Um, which way did I come from? Did I come from this way? I don't know. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, wrong way, Link. Wrong way. My sense of direction is apparently not all great in this game. Alright, we got another one. Well, we got a little deck of bottles. It's kind of, actually kind of weird. Alright, we got another Skull Waltula. Let's kill this guy because I don't want to get, well, her from the Skulltulas. And we got Hookshot Target. If you see those, those are actually good. And this Red Switch? Well, it's important. You see that well? Well, it drains the water. So, now we can go down there. And, let's well, just commit suicide. We Or not, just fall in the water. Alright, yeah, you stupid deck of baba. I don't really like you, because you're annoying. Ah. Ow. You know what? And I hear a Skotala. I want that Skotala. Now, if you play, if you go back to Lake Hylia and actually play that Scarecrow, that Scarecrow song that you made, you can actually summon the, the, what you call this scarecrow, and you can actually call it over here. You see that Navi's glowing green over here? You can actually summon a scarecrow, but technically you can trick this out. Like, it's possible. I've done this before on both versions, so it's possible to trick this out. See? I trick it out. So, yeah, that's actually kind of neat. Alright, so in this chest we just get a pe uh, heart, recovery heart, bleh. And up here, if you want the Skotola, you can get the Skotola if you want to. If you don't have the Scarecrow song, you can actually trick this out, so yeah. Oops. There we go. Get the Skotola. There we go. So I think this number... I don't even know what number it is. 31 or 32. Now, we want to go down the well because there's actually something important that we want to get. Now, we're just going to fall through. I'm just uh, going to take the damage. Or not. But at least in this well, you can get some recovery hearts if you took a lot of damage like I did. Alright. I gotta watch out for my batteries a lot because it's actually kind of... <laughs> I swear, my battery is kind of lame in my camera. I mean, I like the camera. It's really good. I like recording with it. But the battery life in that one, it drains really quick when I'm recording. Because it takes a lot more en energy when you're recording. Like, when you're taking pictures on that camcorder, it's alright. I mean, it doesn't take that much energy. But when you're recording, it takes a heck of a lot of energy. And once in a while, like every maybe three videos or four... Depending how long the video length is, I have to, like, charge it up, so yeah. So, we got three small keys, but where do we go from here? Well, we can go over here where there are stairs, and I actually want to get some hearts. I like having full of hearts because, I don't know, that's just me. I'm very picky about having full of heart because, I don't know, I don't like, you know, having a risk of dying in this place. Alright, so, yeah, with that we have a locked door, and we can use it on a small key. As long as you have a small key, you can go through locked doors as long as you have a small key all right yeah the, yeah those go to the they're no match for the hook shot so if you have the hook shot that's a big thumbs up all right we got some bubbles here gosh darn it i hate these bubbles jeez oh i don't like this room at all this room is a big puzzle well not really big it's not really all that complicated when my sister played this game she had a hard time with this puzzle and i'm not gonna lie this well not really all that what navi Yes, I see that! There are arrows painted on the ground! I can see that! I'm not blind, Navi. Jeez. I hate when she when she comes up with the, the obvious um, hints. I'm like, yes, Navi, we get it. We see arrows, we know what to do. We go in that direction of the blocks. Alright, so yeah, you want to follow the 
arrow is where you want to push the blocks at. Alright, not doing bad on time, actually. I may probably get halfway done with this temple. That really depends. Maybe one-third of this dungeon done in this video. Okay. Yeah, because the dungeons in the, in the adult version are a little bit longer. That's all I can say. They're longer than the child dungeon, so yeah. And now we want to push this block all the way over here because there's a second floor to this puzzle. Alright, so now that we got there, let's kind of climb up. Climb up. Alright. Hell yeah, I think we have another block. Yeah, we have another block. So we want to pull this one. But unfortunately, we can't pull it all the way because, well, we can't squish ourselves in this game. So we had to go back to the first floor and, well, push it. And then come back up and then, you know, push it the other way. Alright, so there's actually a ladder that we just saw earlier that we can get up to. Actually, on this side. There we go. Alright. Okay, uh, let's see, where is the... No, we don't want to go down there. We actually want to go through here. There we go, there's a block. So we want to push it a little bit further, and then go back down, and then go back the other way so we can push the block. Alright, so we push it far enough. Okay. Alright, the fourth stuff is not all that bad. It's actually pretty easy. Link, fall down. Come on, fall. There we go. Yeah, like I said, the fourth stuff is not really all that, um, that hard, actually. I mean, it was for my first time, because there were some confusing routes, like, you can get lost in this place, and yeah. But other than that, it's not that difficult. There are, are a few dungeons that may be difficult, but this one is alright, it's not all that bad. Like, there may be a few areas that you may get lost in, but other than that, it's not that hard. But, I don't know, I don't really like, I don't really care about this dungeon. It's not one of my favorites. I mean, it's alright, but it's not my personal favorite. Alright, anyways, since we got that done, we can go through. Alright, yeah, I better hurry up and my battery is draining, like, really quick. Alright, we got more bubbles here. Let's just destroy them. There we go. And, yeah, more bubbles. Kill you. Kill you. Alright. And we see Eyeball. Unfortunately, we can't use our slingshot, so... We can't even do anything about that, but remember that for later. Alright, and whoa, we got... What, Navi? Yes, I... I know, I was gonna say, a Twisted Corridor. It looks kind of cool, actually. It looks, I like the Twisted Corridor. It reminds me of Majora's Mask when you first come into the clock town. Now this is important, watch for the shadow monsters that hang from the ceiling. If you see a shadow right below you, you may want to dodge it. And Navi right there is blue and green, which you saw the boss key. Alright. Alright, I better... Yeah, there's actually one of those poles. You can't get them quite yet, so yeah. Alright, um, let's see. Oh yeah, let's go through this room first. Because in this room, yes, we get another mini boss, which is the Stalfos. Now, you do not want to fall through the, the hole, because that will be pretty bad. Alright, come on. Because I want to kill you. Come on. Haha, <laughs> I got through behind your back. Come on. Come on. Haha, -ha, nice. Yeah, you do not want to fall through the, the, the hole because otherwise you have to go all the way around and yeah. Now we got two more staffles, so yeah, that's not really all that great. Now this time you want to be kind of fast on killing these guys because these guys, they can come to life if you don't defeat them um, really fast. So you may want to kind of hurry up on killing these guys. Alright, come on. Alright, that's one of them. Okay, now we gotta kill this guy. Alright, come on. Jump, jump, jump. There we go. And this guy's a little bit faster, so that's cool. There we go. Not too bad. Oh, darn. I want to stand on the chest. Dang it. I was hoping to stand on the chest. Oh, well. Alright, so... In this chest, we get something really nifty. We get... The fairy bow, so that is awesome. So this is actually a pretty neat item, the bow and arrows, so yeah. Okay, let's see if my aiming is actually accurate with the bow and arrow, because my aiming in this game really does suck. Alright, um, let's actually go back to the previous room so we can get that bow before we end this part. Hopefully my battery doesn't die on me. Or my camera. Oh, I hear the bow. Alright, is it? No, the bow's not open. Oh, wait! Wait, this is the wrong room. I actually want to get the red one first before, before I do because... Yeah, we may want to kill the red one because um, there is actually a locked room that we need to get into, but we don't have a key. We don't have any plenty. We don't have a, another key that we can use, so yeah. 
and I hear the pole. All right, I see the pole up there. So what you want to do is take your bow and arrow and shoot the portrait. And once you do, yeah, you may want to, yeah, shoot these guys. Or actually, girl, these are um, the Poe sisters, actually. These are all girls, and they all have names. I like how all the posts have names. All right. Handily, let's go after this Poe, and, well, let's get the flame from her. This is Joelle, I think. I don't know how to pronounce Joelle, Joel, I don't know, Joelle. I think that's her name, Joelle. I never had a friend named Joelle, or even heard of a name Joelle. Maybe I did, but uh, I don't know. I think that's not, that's not really a common name, so Joelle. All right, Joelle, bring it on. Give me the flame. Okay, one more hit she'll do, and yeah. All right, come here, come here, come here. Don't go through the wall, because I can't hit you if you're in the wall. Come here. There we go, all right. Not too bad. So we got one down, awesome. Maybe we can get the next pull if we're lucky. So yeah, I think I might want to get the next pull so that way we don't have to worry about it in the next part. All right, so we got the small key. This is actually what we need. All right, is this the right room that we need to get to? Yes, it is. All right. Yeah, I think I go a little bit further. Yeah, I'm not doing too, too bad on my battery life. So I think I could go on a little bit further. All right, is there a pull? I was gonna say, was there a pull there? But it got away. Um. Okay, I can go a little bit further. Yeah, you don't want to get too close, otherwise they're going to disappear and move on to the next portrait. So yeah, they can teleport You teleport to a different portrait. Alright, there's one over there. Come on, Amy. There we go. I'm not too bad with an arrow, actually, or the bow. Actually, quite accurate. Not the best, but I'm quite accurate with the bow, actually. I'm kind of surprised, because I haven't really played this version in a long time. Dang it, I was hoping to get the first strike, but never mind. This is not Paper Mario 2 where you get the first strike. Oh well. Come on, stop spinning, I want to attack you. Alright, well, who are you? You're Beth. Okay, I had a friend named Beth. Um, yeah. But I don't really talk to her that much. Alright, come here. Aha! Alright, come here, Beth. Yeah, these are all Poe sisters, so they're all female, so yeah. Which is kind of cool, I like how they give a little personality to these Poe's, which is actually kind of cool. Alright, I want my arrow because I need some ref refill. Alright, so we get another treasure chest, and I want my arrows. I need arrows. Ooh, heart. I want the heart. Alright. So, inside this chest, we get the compass. And how do I know that? Because, well, the animation. Alright, yeah, yeah, we got the compass. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, uh, let's see what's in this room, actually. This is the room that we came back from. Yeah. Um... So, let's go upstairs, and, well, we're gonna stop from here, so, yeah, we're, I'm gonna stop you guys here, so, in the next part, we will go through this locked door, what's behind this locked door, we'll find out in the next part, so, I'll see you guys then, so this is Shaw Kirby 707 saying,